Hey y'all, just want to share something with you that I commonly explain to some of my patients who happen to be athletes. Uh, a lot of times I get people that kind of just over and over just break themselves down and get these overuse injuries. And I like to break down and explain uh, injury prevention and human performance kind of in a more simplistic way. I use uh, my performance triangle over here. Uh, it's not rocket science, but it's an easy way to kind of get that aha moment with patients. And kind of realize that they got some things they need to address and work on. And so looking at the performance triangle, uh, there's three corners to it. It's like any other triangle. We got the stability corner. Stability means muscle strength, muscle endurance, uh, just the ability to support uh, a load in a certain range of motion. Mobility is that range of motion that you have available within a joint. And then coordination is not just like balance, but also includes like agility. It also includes um, going through movement patterns, so, such as like the clean and jerk or the snatch, which requires multiple components to get it done. And so what I see a lot of times with uh, my athletes or my soldiers is that they aren't a good mix of the three aspects of uh, physical fitness here. And so ideally we like to see them be slap dab in the middle of the triangle, but however, due to their training and their specialties, uh, they typically might migrate towards one side or one corner or another. Uh, so for example, I get a lot of uh, combat arm guys who go to the gym, they get real big and strong and they can lift a lot of heavy load. And so they got a lot of strength and stability. They may even do a lot of uh, complex movements like the clean and jerk and snatch. And so they might migrate more down towards this part of the triangle. However, they are farther away from that mobility piece. And so they come to me with back pain, hip pain or shoulder pain, they wonder why. And when I look at them, you know, they got about 140 degrees of shoulder flexion uh, and they ask why it hurts when they do like lap pull downs, when they do pull ups or overhead pressing, that requires 180 degrees. So for those athletes, I have them focus more on that mobility at the piece so they can get back up towards the center of that triangle. If you take uh, the other end of the spectrum, you look at the hypermobile athlete, a very flexible individual, uh, let's say somebody that does yoga as their specialty, now they will have a whole lot of mobility and flexibility. And a lot of yoga moves require a lot of coordination and balance. And so they will migrate more towards this side of the triangle. So they got a lot of range of motion, but if you try to make that person into a strength athlete and overload them too soon, or they don't have the stability to support that range of motion, uh, they're going to in, uh, get an injury as well and decrease their performance. So uh, those individuals require uh, a de steady dose of stability and strength training in order to get them back into the middle of that triangle. Like I said, it's not very complicated stuff and I'm not the first one to use this uh, methodology, but I like to explain it to my patients and they seem to really grasp it and get that light bulb moment when I do. So it's been beneficial for me. Just wanted to share because I commonly use it with my patients and I hope that you guys find it useful as well. So I appreciate you watching and leave me feedback if you got any. Thanks.